taste and sing to the day. Love, the guest, is on the way. For us be glad the earth is bare. One more seed is planted there. Give up your strength, the seed to nourish. That in course the flower may flourish. And sing to the day, love the bird is on the way. Stars keep the watch when night is dim. One more light the bowl shall brim, shining beyond the frosty weather, bright as sun and moon together. People look east and sing to the day, love the star is on the Sing to the day, love the Lord is on the way. Dear people of God, in the season of Advent, it is our responsibility and joy to prepare ourselves to hear once more the message of the angels and to go to Bethlehem and see the Son of God lying in a manger. Let us hear and heed in Holy Scripture the story of God's loving purposes from the time of our rebellion until the glorious redemption brought to us by this holy child, Jesus. And let us look forward to the yearly remembrance of his birth with hymns and songs of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace and justice on earth, for the unity and mission of the church for which he died, and especially for his church in our country and in this city of Falls Church. And because he particularly loved them, let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and unloved, the aged and little children, as well as all those who do not know and love the Lord Jesus Christ. Finally, let us remember before God his pure and lowly mother and that whole multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh and with whom in Jesus we are one forevermore. And now to sum up all these petitions, let us pray in the words Christ has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. And to the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of angels bring us all. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God say you shall not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said, 
You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. Thanks be to God. Comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out! And I said, What shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. 
when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arm and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. reading according to the prophet Isaiah. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse. A branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him. The spirit of the wisdom and understanding. The spirit of the counsel and might. The spirit of the knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge what but his eyes can see, or decide by what his ears hear. But with his righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike with the earth with the rod in his mouth. And the breath of his lips shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be a belt around his waist. And faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the kid. And the calf and the lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze. Their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of ass. 
grasp. And the weaned child shall put his hand on the andered stem. And they will not hurt or destroy on my holy mountain. For earth will be in full knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. 
And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done, has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. According to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. And Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. Thanks be to God.
In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city, da to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to, to, to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them at the end. In that region, there, was, there were shepherds in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, lying in a manger, and suddenly, with the angel, a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest heaven, and on this earth peace among those whom, whom he favors.
The Word was made flesh, and we have seen his glory. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness he, we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. Thanks be to God. Amen. be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light, now in the time of this mortal life, which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in glory to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go ye forth, 
and the Lord will be with you. Stand ye still, and ye shall see the salvation of the Lord. Tomorrow go ye forth, and the Lord will be with you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Tomorrow go ye forth, and the Lord will be with you. Let us pray. Open wide, O Lord, the gates of heaven, and visit your people in peace. Send forth your Spirit from on high, that their hearts may be lifted to your presence. O Lord, who for our sake was born of a virgin, make your people holy, and bless your heritage. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, and abide with you forever. Amen. Dream. 